From the girl who brought you how to get your life together for 2023 and how I'm staying on track this year comes my life is falling apart, I'm in complete shambles, everything's a mess. So today, let's try and complete my never ending to-do list together and get back on track because I am struggling. Good morning. I'm not gonna lie, I feel like my life is falling apart. And look, I know that sounds dramatic, but I swear, I believe in the statement, your space is a reflection of your mind. These are my spaces right now. This is what my space looks like. This is what my mind feels like. I can't. I just can't anymore, man. Oh my god. There's been a lot going on. We're not gonna get into it today. I've been a busy gal. And I just... <laughs> oh my gosh. Everything's just unravel. I'm not keeping up with my structured routines, my plans, my goals. I don't even know. I actually don't even know if I'm keeping up with my goals because my habit tracker, I haven't been feeling that out. I'm just feeling a little bit all over the place and today I have decided that I just cannot live like this anymore. I need to get everything in order. I need to get my life together. So that is what we're doing today. I need to make a to-do list. I just have a bunch of things that I have not had a chance to do. Like every single day I have been busy and getting stuff done. But there's just stuff that I haven't had time for like putting my clothes away Updating my tax document cleaning my MacBook just like general organization and cleaning I feel like has left the chat and I would like to invite it back into the chat because it really helps not only my Physical space look good, but also my mental health my mental health Whew. It is so bad when my space is bad. So we really need to fix that. Also, I don't know if you can tell, but Cal and I started moving around the office, like reorganizing it, and we haven't finished it. So that's something we need to do today. I'm actually really excited about that because change is as good as the holiday. The way there's not even space at my desk right now to write this to-do list. Oh my God, bro. Love the little cupboard situation going on over here. Okay, so this is what we're working with. It's the way I put get dressed on the to-do list because I am still in my pajamas. Love that for me. But look, I know there's a lot on there, but I honestly think we can get through most stuff. I think if we just get in the zone, we can do this. I believe in us. I have faith. I think we just need to start. Okay, let's go ahead and change the bed sheets. They say making a bed in the morning is the first accomplishment of the day. We're going to take it up a notch. We're just going to change the entire sheets. I usually change them once a week. So when I do my fake tan and sleep in it, I'll wash them the next morning. I did my fake tan two or three days ago. So they really, really need to be washed. We do not need to be living with crusty ass sheets. Absolutely not. Let's do it. mental breakdown trying to change the sheets right now. Why is it so hard to put the doona in the doona cover? Like, I can't. I've been 10 minutes. 10 minutes of me trying to do this. There's also, I made a diagram. <laughs> so, you know, to put this tag at the bottom right. And there's even a little picture of the bed and the pillows there. The thing is, I could have sworn when I put it out that We're I... We're going to have to take the whole thing out. Can you take the... Can you grab the top oh. so I can pull it out? <laughs> Why is this happening? You try and do a simple task to like start your day. Ah! Round two, baby. Never give up on yourself. Do you have like a technique or something? Because I swear yeah. to God, I don't know I'm what I'm doing. Right Show the people. I need this on tape. This picture should be facing upwards, right? So once you get that part right, you know that's the way the gene has to go. This is what I was doing. It goes top right. Well, hush, no, hush. <laughs> you, had, you, you had two corners in one corner, so I don't know what you did. I don't know, but this is what I could have sworn I was doing, though. <laughs> Tell me why I'm like sweating now. I'm literally sweating just from changing the bed sheets and I couldn't even do it Okay, all right, all I need to do now is do up the little buttons change the pillowcases. We can do this <laughs> We can do this. Oh my god. What a start. What a start to getting my life back on track having a mental breakdown over changing the sheets Fun. I'm seriously sweating right now
Okay, it definitely should not have been that hard, but it's done. Oh my god, as I said that, I picked up my tripod and a massive chunk of it just fell on the ground. <laughs> like, sorry, what? What is happening today? I swear to God. Anyway, let's move on to laundry. Guys, look at this. Look how much laundry there is. I don't think I've ever seen it this bad. To be fair, this basket doesn't hold much. So I feel like it looks a lot worse than what it is. But it really does not look great. I want to say there's about a week's worth of washing there. And I can see my work uniform on top and I have work tomorrow. So this really needs to be done. The best part about laundry is that you can just put it on as you're doing other tasks. You don't have to like put it in the washing machine and just sit there and watch it for half an hour. It's it's a background task. So let's get started. Let's get it happening. First we need to separate it all out into like the different loads that it goes in. I like to separate the whites and colors and all that kind of stuff. I don't know whether I should just grab piles of clothes and throw them on the ground or if I should just try and drag this basket out. I feel like this is probably an awful idea but at the same time I mean I need all the clothes on the ground anyway. So here goes nothing. <laughs> This is such an accurate representation of how I feel right now. All right, these are our piles. So we have whites, towels, black clothing, sweaters, socks, all that kind of like fluffy stuff. And then just other normal colors. Let's start making some progress on this. Sorry. Okay, the bed sheets are washing, so I can take that off the to-do list. I'm so mad. <laughs> well, I'm not mad, but I didn't even write change the bed sheets on the to-do list. So we went through that whole ordeal and I don't even get to tick it off. Like obviously it needed to be done, doesn't really matter, but it would have been so satisfying to tick it off. But we're making progress. I think there's like 13 things on this list and we've already done two and it's only 11.50. I mean, it's kind of late-ish in the morning, but I have faith. So I think now I want to tidy and clean this office. I need to sit down and update my tax document and also finish my video that's going up tomorrow but I don't know about you guys but I really struggle to get in the zone and work when my space is messy like look at this right now this is just not it it's not the vibe the real problem me blaming anything on anything but myself but the real problem is that I need to do a closet clean out so f***ing badly it's on my list of videos to film I'm gonna film it next week or the week after because I don't have enough space in my cupboard for all my clothes so all my clothes just end up on the ground Ground, which is obviously not good but the least I could do is fold them nicely and have them in a pile so I think that's what I'm gonna do I'm obviously gonna hang up like everything that I can and then I'll just fold and put some stuff in the corner I could do some decluttering now for my wardrobe but I want to do like a whole video so let's get into it I think I need to get changed I'm literally like sweating already <laughs> like we have been organizing and getting our lives together for 50 minutes and i'm already drowning in sweat so i'm gonna get changed but let's tackle this let's try and get like all the clothes put away and everything that's out put away but let's just start with with this dude it's the way i got changed and then literally just threw this whole sweatsuit on the ground you think i could start by hanging that up when i took it off no apparently i like to just make the mess worse um this fit is not very cute it's giving i don't know what it's giving i think it's giving get to work you better work bitch you know what i think i need to put on my headphones and listen to some like one direction to just like really get in the zone get it moving because if i try and do this with just my thoughts that is a trap it's been 10 minutes and i can't find my headphones so now i'm just laying here i found my over ear headphones like my big ones and the battery's flat like are you serious like be for real right now so this is where i'm at this video is the definition of slowly but surely because we're gonna get it all done but it's just gonna take a little bit longer Ugh. okay okay you've motivated me i will go find my airpods we will get this party started before it ends up being like 7 p.m and i don't have everything done that i need done
Okay, the office is tidy. Oh my gosh, I cannot tell you how much better I feel about my life now that this is clean. Also, who is revving it up in the city? Like, relax. Literally relax. But oh my gosh, I feel so much better about my life, about myself. I swear to God, there is something about cleaning that is so therapeutic while I'm doing it, but it also makes me feel so much better when it's done as well. Like, oh my God. I just whacked my knee on the cupboard. <laughs> I haven't probably shown you guys, but Cal and I decided we wanted to switch the office up. We wanted to make it more of a multi-purpose space. No, that's not right. How do I explain this? We want to be able to share the office. So right now, it's very pastel. It's very feminine. It's very my aesthetic, or at least one of my aesthetics. We'll get into it. But Cal and I really want to make this space a space for both of us to use. So instead of it being my office, it will be ours. And then depending on the work day that we have, that will Will determine who uses the office because sometimes Cal has calls and it would be better for him to do it in this office and then there's days where I'm filming where it's better if I'm in here it just doesn't need to be mine all the time so we want to make it a space that's more for both of us so we're working on that but we did also want to switch around where things are so I don't know if you can tell but right now I'm in front of this mirror and the desk is here so the desk used to be in this space here and this was the shelf that was next to it don't mind all the cords like I said this is all a work in progress but we wanted to try out putting the desk here because as you can see there are no buildings in front of us the view is amazing I'm very grateful for it but in the afternoon we get the afternoon Sun so intense and when it gets to around this section here the Sun just beams in and as you can imagine if you're sitting right here facing this bit and the Sun is here coming in your eyes it's not a very pleasant working atmosphere it's actually so annoying like the amount of times I will just pick up my laptop and go work on the couch because it is so intense that I cannot see See my screen or focus is insane so we thought maybe we could put the desk here and then we'll still get the afternoon sun beaming in but it won't be beaming on our faces and honestly I was against it at first but I kind of love it like it fits perfectly in here my main concern was the mirror but I kind of like it because I can just move my seat here and be in front of my mirror when I'm getting ready filming TikToks all that kind of stuff so I think we're gonna try this out and then I really want to revamp this whole thing I love the hairy vinyl and the plants but this stuff I'm just just not vibing with it anymore. I've had it there for so long. These cords will obviously get moved to under here. There is a PowerPoint under there, so thank God. But yeah, we want to keep this here, but we want to redecorate it. We love the frame setup, but again, it's very pastel. It's very feminine, so we want to switch up the prints that are in here. We're not going to do this today, but comment below if you have any ideas of what we should put in here. The clothing rack will stay. Maybe I'll switch up the colors. We're not really too concerned about that, to be honest. It's the drawer and the keyboard for me. I feel like they shouldn't go there because right Right now it's just giving everything along the wall and then this big ass open space so I don't really know what to do about that I want to figure that out today but while I was cleaning I did hear the washing machine go off so I'm gonna go hang out that washing put another load on and then I think I might try and do some computer work and have some lunch. Cal is currently studying right now for his Canada test and I want his input on rearranging the office but I don't want to distract him while he's studying. So we will circle back to this but I wanted to give you kind of like an outline of what's going on. I'm excited for the change. I do think it's for the best but you know when you're in that in-between stage of reorganizing, redecorating or like moving and you just feel like your shit is everywhere and you just can't relax. It just feels chaotic. That's how I feel right now. But I am glad that it's tidy. Now that it's tidy, I feel good. I just want to find everything spot and like wipe down benches, vacuum, all of that stuff. But we'll get to it. some computer work done. Side note, I made a lemon ginger tea. My stomach is just so f***ed up at the moment that I'm hoping drinking copious amounts of lemon and ginger tea will help. Also, I just had a hot cross bun and I was really f good. I don't really know why I'm telling you that, but damn, those things are so f***ing good. It was also gluten free. So now I need to go back to Woolworths and buy more before Easter's over. But anyway, these are the things that we need to get done right now. Okay, we need to clean up my MacBook because my downloads folder is absolute trash and I love when all of my folders are organized. So we need to clean up my MacBook. We need to update my tax document. I think I've shared that with you guys before, but basically it's an Excel spreadsheet where I keep track of all my expenses. And I keep saying every time that I update it that I'm going to keep on track 
with it and like keep it all updated. I have not. So I don't know what to do about that moving forward, but I need to update it. Maybe I need to set like one day a week where I update it, like Fridays at 3 p.m. or something like that. You know what I mean? Like set a dedicated time instead of putting this pressure on myself to do it every time I make a purchase. I think I'm just having like a revelation right now. Okay, I don't know what day or time I'm gonna set that, but moving forward, I'm gonna do that. Also feel free to take that advice and apply that to something you need to. Also have something stuck in my tooth and it's pissing me off. <laughs> and I could just go and get floss, but instead I'm just gonna sit here like this. Love that. Anyway, clean MacBook, update tax document, reply to emails and file. I think I only have like two emails, so that should be pretty easy. Finish up my vlog for tomorrow, which again, I edited so much last night. I think it will only take me like an hour now to do the final touches. Export, upload, and schedule that for tomorrow. Make the thumbnail for that video and apply for the energy rebate. So that's a good seven things that we need to get through, but I have faith. I believe in us. Anyway, I'm going to start with the energy rebate. Basically, it's a $250 rebate rebate that you can apply for that the government's giving back and I'm pretty sure Cal and I are eligible so I'm gonna do that first because I know that will take like two seconds if that and it's always good to start with something small get the ball rolling so let's do that after that let's go ahead and finish the vlog for tomorrow because I really know we'll feel so much better when that is done but let's get it let's get it I believe in us I actually can't drink this because this will be way too hot Okay, that was literally the easiest thing ever. It took less than five minutes. I'm so happy. I didn't think it would take long, but sometimes when you're doing shit like that, it could take ages. But I'm so excited. Let's tick it off. And now let's move on to finishing up tomorrow's vlog. a few days later you saw that I was editing that vlog that actually ended up taking me until around 5 30 6 p.m. it took longer than I thought did you just hear that it is raining so much today it's actually such a vibe I feel like this is the perfect day to get a bunch of stuff done at home just kind of like sit at my desk cozy vibes the rains coming down so today is the day that I'm going to fill out my tax document because I didn't end up having time to do it the other day and it is low-key the most important thing or at least like the thing that I want to do the most so this is our to-do list from the other day I kept it and we got through a lot the things that we didn't do were clean the office which honestly I'm just gonna do it in my own time. Let me know below if you want me to film a whole redecorating and reorganizing the office video. I feel like that could be a vibe. So we're just not gonna worry about that. But I also need to update my tax document, clean up my MacBook, which is what we're gonna do now. So that is the plan for this morning. It is 10:20 right now. So I'm hoping we can get all of this done by like midday. And then I need to get so much editing done. But I have my green tea. Oh my god, guys, yesterday I decided that I'm giving up coffee. I was heavily influenced by one of my friends. So I have my green tea. I have two tea bags in here because I'm like, one tea bag is not enough caffeine. Like, I just, I can't. Also, don't mind the washing here. This room has now become the drying room. But let's get into finishing this to do list because I have had this for multiple days now and I'm definitely ready to move on to the next one. It is now 10 to 2. It took me so long to finish updating my tax document and then I made some pesto pasta for lunch. I also had to change my sweater because I am the CEO of spilling stuff on myself. So if I had worn my white sweater, literally it would be green by now. But I can't believe I thought I would have my tax document updated and my MacBook cleaned and organized by midday at 10.30am. Like girl, it took me till I think 1pm. 
110 and then I made lunch so the tax document is updated though and I feel really good about it I'm so glad that it's done oh my god and I have this feeling I have this every single time I do it where I'm like okay this feels so good I'm definitely gonna make an effort to make sure it's always updated and then I just don't keep making sure that it's updated the motivation wears off almost immediately but I do want to try and find one day of the week where I update it rather than trying to just update it every time I make a purchase because it's just unrealistic so I need to choose a date but now I'm just going to clean up my MacBook because my downloads folder is giving me stress. Thank you.